If you are still in your sin, if you die in your sin, you will go to hell. And hell is a place of everlasting torment where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. And no one warned us more about hell than the Lord Jesus Christ. And he was the personification of love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. That's what God intended for the human race. In Adam all die because Adam sinned. And Adam is the head of the human race. The federal head of the human race. In Adam all die. In Adam all are dead in trespasses and sins. But in Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, all are born again to eternal life. You must be born again. Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot see or enter into the kingdom of God. God's kingdom has a king, and the king of the kingdom of God is Jesus Christ, and his reign will never end. There will be an end to the government of the conservatives. There will be an end to the Labour government. But we are told in Isaiah the prophet, chapter 9 and verses 6 and 7, that of the increase of the government and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, there shall be no end. It's an everlasting government of peace. Jesus Christ's government shall never pass away. Everything in heaven and in earth is passing away. But Jesus Christ said, my words will not pass away. And these are the words that we are preaching to you. The words of the living God. God was manifest in the flesh. When Jesus Christ was born into this world as a little baby, the wise men came from the east and they said, where is he that is born, the king of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. They came to worship Jesus Christ. He is to be worshipped. Only God is to be worshipped. And Jesus Christ never turned away the worship of men. When God brought him to the world, the first begotten, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. Angels don't worship angels. Angels don't worship prophets. Angels only worship God. And let all the angels of God worship Jesus Christ. Because he is the word of God. He is the eternal word of God. And he took on our humanity for the abolition of death. To the destroy death. By death, Jesus Christ has destroyed him that had the power of death. That is the devil. Do you realize, those of you who are dead in your trespasses and sins, only Jesus Christ can make you alive from the dead. The whole of humanity is dead in sin. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ came to raise up the dead and quicken them. And only Jesus Christ can give you the assurance, the assurance of where you are going in eternity. Christ died for our sins and he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures because Jesus Christ is alive because Jesus Christ has conquered death you don't need to live in this land you don't need to live as someone who is under the weather or under the circumstances because Jesus Christ 
is the life. And when he came into the world, he laid down his humanity as the payment for our sin. That's why John the Baptist said of Jesus Christ, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ is the life. Jesus Christ is the living God. Jesus Christ is the life of God. And he was willing to lay down his humanity for sin. That sin's penalty might be paid. And Jesus Christ has paid the penalty for sin. If you are going to pay the penalty for your own sin, you have to go and pay it in hell forever and ever. And there's no repentance in the grave where you are going. There's no second chances. After death, the judgment is appointed unto man once to die. And after death, the judgment, there is a judgment. And the one who is the judge of the living and of the dead is Jesus Christ. He alone is qualified to judge because Jesus Christ alone was without sin. There's only one man who ever lived without sin, and that is Jesus Christ. He is the Lamb of God without blemish and without spot that takes away the sin of the world. And I'm so glad today that the Lord Jesus Christ has taken away my sin. He died on the cross to forgive sinners of every type, of every nation, of every gender. Jesus Christ died on the cross that sin might be pardoned. Thank God for the forgiveness of sin. Thank God for the assurance that our sins have been forgiven. Because Jesus Christ is the one who obeyed the covenant of works. God required man to obey the covenant of works. And you have all broken the covenant of works. You are sick mentally. You have all broken the covenant of works. That's what they said about Jesus Christ. They said he's mad and has a devil. Why do you hear him? But they said, how can a devil open the eyes of the blind? He was a already. Jesus Christ opened the eyes of the blind. And they said he was mad. You had a devil. That's why they call us mad. Why? Because they call Jesus Christ said, if they call the master of the house Beelzebub, then how much more will they call his children? That's why they call us names. That's why they call Christians names. Why? Because they hate the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know why the world hates Jesus Christ? Because he said, the world hates me because I testify of it, that its works are evil. But remember, they hated me before they hated you. And if they've hated me, they're going to hate you as well. If they've listened listen to my, my, my words, they will listen to yours too. And all those things they will do to you because they have not known the Father nor the Son nor the Holy Spirit. God is one, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. There is no other God except the triune God who has revealed himself through Jesus Christ. There is no other revelation of God 